So once that is done installing, you want to go ahead and open up the launcher and then navigate to Android Terminal Emulator, which is right here. So now we're going to flip open the keyboard like so and then type in, the code will be displayed on the website, but I'll read it out loud just for your sake. Um, we're going to type in SU, enter, and then CD space alt slash forward slash, so the letter L, SD, C A R D, enter. And if in any point of this procedure you see like a pop up, that says like super user requests like permission and just say okay and then afterwards we're gonna say we're gonna type in i n s m o oops m o d space alt and then the l key again for the forward slash s d c a r d forward slash again W P T H I S dot K O. Okay. Um, then we're gonna press enter. What should happen is that like you should see an error that says function not implemented. Um, any sort of error like that. And if you have seen it, then that means you've done it correctly and you can continue. So now what you can do or not what you're going to do, is enter a string of weird characters, which will be on the website, but I'll um, sound them out for you guys. So it's D, D, space, I, F, and then the equal symbol, so Alt, N, and then Alt, L for that forward slash, S, D, C, A, R, D, then Alt, L again for forward slash, H B O O T and then Alt V for this dash hyphen symbol E N G dot I M G space O F then Alt N for the equal sign Alt L for the forward slash D E V Alt L for the forward slash again B L O C K Alt L M M C B L K um, and then Alt P for zero P and then Alt Q for the one and then Alt I for eight. All right, and then we press Enter. And then you should have something like, um, this is how many bytes were transferred in this many seconds, or some sort of um, sign of transferring. And that's what you should be getting. And then after that, we're going to type in S, Y, and C for sync, and then press enter. And you should be done or once this is done, or whatever process after that is done, what we're going to do is reboot the phone. So we're going to go home and just hold the power button. And let's power off, not reboot. Let's power off, the phone will shut down. Save OK. Alright, now to power it back on, what we're going to do is hold the sleep-wake button, the power button again, and then the volume down button at the same time. So, one, two, three. Until the phone turns on again. And you should get this weird screen, white screen. It's the H boot. So, what we're going to check to see is on the top, if it says S off. If it says S off, then you're good. You did everything right and everything works. If it doesn't say S off, then I would repeat this again and see if you have better luck. But it should say S off. So, 
Now what we're gonna do is just um, turn it back off again. So what you can do is um, press the sleep wake button again and then press power down and to select it you're gonna press the sleep wake button again. So make sure power down is highlighted and sleep wake and then it'll power off. Okay now what we're gonna do is press and hold the sleep wake button again to reboot the phone and like wait for it to start up and once it does we're going to open visionary and uncheck temp root to unboot just so that you get a preview of what we're going to be doing so you can see I'm loaded on a Mexperia ROM Max droid. It's a pretty good um, Xperia skin that's on a ROM, so I'm going to be showing you how to download this. I think it's pretty. It's a pretty good ROM. Um, there's some like sense-based ROMs which are good, but like for most of them, I've noticed that the camera stinks. At least the video camera does. The audio quality really stinks. I like the camera interface better because you have better options. But yeah, as far as I'm concerned, the camera on this ROM is actually pretty good. So that's why I'm going to be recommending this ROM. And it's um, based on Cyanogen, which is pretty good, again. And you can overclock your phone with this ROM. So what we're going to do is go to the Apple Launcher and then open up Visionary. And then now what we're going to do is... Um, oh, okay, sorry. Um, you're going to click... You're going to uncheck Temp Root unboot so the first one we're gonna uncheck that one and then click temp root now and then for you you should have like a longer process as for like I already perm rooted it so that's why it's not doing anything but for you um, more things should be going on and then after that we're going to attempt perm root now and again for you um, it should your phone would um, attempt to reboot itself and if you get a super user request we're gonna say allow so try temp rooting it now or perm rooting it and then your phone should reboot and once it does let's go back you're gonna go back to home go back to launcher and then open up the terminal terminal emulator and then now what you're gonna do is type in SU and press enter. Okay, and you'll either get like terminal terminal emulator has been granted super user permissions, or you might get a prompt that says um, the super permissions with like the crossbones saying like, can we like we're requesting permission from terminal emulator, and then you click OK, or you'll get this little symbol. It's the pound sign, and that means you have gotten access to root. And that means you are permanently rooted, which is exactly what we want. So again, I might have skimmed over this before. If you're trying to perm root it, for me, nothing happened because I was already perm rooted. But for you guys, your phone should have rebooted. And after the phone rebooted, you should have went to the launcher, opened up terminal emulator, typed in SU, hit enter, and then the pound sign should have appeared. And you would have been permanently rooted. So, there you go. In the next part of this review, I will outline how to load a custom ROM, so be sure to check that out, and I'll catch you guys later in part 3 of the full customization tutorial for the HTC G2 Vision, or um, HTC Desire. See you.